Hey guys, I'm back with more revelations. Hold on one second. Oh. What are you doing, Bubba? I, um, it's funny. I was thinking about this shirt that I'm holding on wearing. It has 56 on it. Well, 56 adds up to 11, does it not? Which is when my spiritual awakening started. Yeah. Okay. So 57 adds up to a 12. Okay. So 11 can also reduce to a 2. That means I made a choice to go a new direction. Yes. That's all making sense. 57 adds up to a 12, which would add up to a 3, is when I came into union within my soul with the Christ consciousness, God, and the Holy Spirit, which is a trinity. It's also when I had the power of three working against me in the form of two of my siblings and one of my cousins, whose birthdays are the third, the ninth, and the eighteenth. Three times three is nine. Nine means a completion, and one plus eight equals nine. Okay, if we add them all up, let's think about this. So we got 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 3 would be 21. That brings us back to 3. I got that right. So 3 can also be the Trinity, right? But the negative aspects of the Trinity is the devil or those working. I'm not calling them devils. That's not what I'm doing. Those who are working in their narcissistic attributes in order to control and manipulate another person to isolate them alone and abandon them all out of pride, all out of pride and ego. Why was Lucifer cast out of heaven, out of pride? So the opposite of three, you have a positive attributes and you have the negative. Three is not a negative number in itself. Of course not. It represents the Trinity. But what is the opposite of the Trinity would be the devil. And again, I'm not calling them demonic. I'm not calling them devils. Any of us can operate in that energy out of pride. Although I cannot say that I've ever used that to oppress another person. No. I never just abandoned somebody to leave them out to die. And literally, that is what happened. They call me, I'll say it again. They call me incompetent because I started speaking my truth. And for spending some of my own inheritance, my own inheritance, which took it out of their control. And then instead of coming in like a loving family, we'll say, sit down with me. Say, we're really concerned about you. Did they do that? No, they ran. They had like little, little rats. I'm not calling them rats. This is all my opinion. This is not based. This is only based on my recognition of the truth. I do have a letter to confirm some of this. And I have the letter where they would not let me lease my home when it wouldn't benefit the trust so I could get away from them and start my own life over. That is oppression. That is control all out of pride. Which again, that is why Lucifer was cast out of heaven. So now, when I turn 58, that will be a 13. Okay, let's think about this. <laughs> Y'all, let me, this is so sweet. Let me flip it around. We got Maxwell, and we got Tabitha. Come here, baby girl. Say hello. Hello. You want me to let you on the porch? Are you to come in here with him right there? Oh, yes, she is. She's brave. <laughs> I will let those two play together a little bit. But you're not going in the house. No. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. <laughs> so this year adds up to a four, and my birthday is on the fourth. When I'm starting to make the revelations of numbers, which is a fourth book in the Bible. So I cannot wait <laughs> for 20. Of course I can. I'm going to live in the present moment. But 2025. Okay, if you go by. Okay, there's two different ways to look at this too. No. I will be 59, which would be a 14, which would be add up to five, which is all about change and transformation as well. So that means there's a huge change that's going to be coming up in a year, just over a year. That'll be interesting. We'll see what that is. Huh. Anyways, we don't need to go that far ahead. I just had to share that. Oh, and by the way, I didn't finish telling y'all. 
So I have a friend who was getting messages from my grandfather's spirit. She saw him sitting right next to me. I could sense him next to me. I cannot see him. So she said somewhere, and she started going through. She's never been in my house. She said, he's showing me in the living room. The living room, there's a socket in the living room. Something's wrong with it. I don't think it's a socket. I think it's the strip. I, it could be either one. I'm getting rid of the the surge protector because I went to go plug my phone in just a second ago. I said, it'd be all right if I sit in there with it to charge it, and it sparked. I kid you not. I kid you not. If I would have had my phone on, I would have showed you where it sparked. So I definitely have somebody coming over to help me with that. <laughs> we don't want a fire in our house. But yeah, so I just had to share that. All these beautiful revelations are just coming in. They're coming in very clearly. And are you kids going to play nice together? See, now she wants to hide. You know he's not going to hurt you. Well, he might. No, he's being good. Tabitha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think they'll be all right. Now, now he's going to go underneath there. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm going to get inside. I'm waiting for a friend to come over that's going to help me with a few things. And I'm going to get some chores done. Oh, i got so many things to do. But the thing is, I know it's all happening exactly as it's supposed to. So I don't need to be anxious about the future. I can just go with the flow. And when I'm compared to, compelled to share, I'm going to share my messages. If people understand them or not. The people that don't, at the right time, the people that they're meant for will find them and they will make sense. So they can start using their own gifts of numerology to start making sense. And that's all astrology, numerology, all of it does is help us grow and expand into the highest version of ourselves, our higher self. But you have to be open to these gifts and these messages and these um, divination tools or mediums to help us connect to the spiritual world. Because they want to guide us, but it's hard for them to do when they can't be here in human form, but they can guide us in spirit. Here are the birds. They're, they're green. Yeah. That's another thing. I'm going to go. I'm going to go get some bird feeders, although I have so many birds. But I think just out of gratitude for the birds and all the messages they give me. The peace of the serenity, and I'm going to get him some bird food. Yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs>